Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'll take you through part three of how I painted my Raptors Eliminator. Uh, so this one will be focusing on the cloak of course. Now I tried to choose colors that would best suit the armor I went with. So I went through my colors and came up with what you'll see in the video. So over a Mechanicus standard ground coat, I decided to do a base coat of Nocturne Green. This is a really, really cool green. Um, you'll want to do two coats of this at least, perhaps three. Uh, I did them pretty thin. And then uh, beginning the geometric shapes, uh, patterns across the cloak, I decided to go with Skaven Blight Dinge. So as you can see, each shape does take a little bit of time and you will want to fill them a couple of times uh, just to make sure they're nice and smooth. But the result is absolutely worthwhile and uh, as I mentioned in my Raven Guard um, camo cloak video, it's absolutely worth practicing things like this as you will definitely become a stronger painter through it. And another thing, it's always a good idea just to have references in front of you. So. For example, I had uh, some geometric patterns up in front of me on my screen on my computer uh, whilst painting these. Um, even having done them a couple of times, it's still just good to have a, a reference point um, until the day comes that you feel confident enough just to do them uh, with that one. And as always, I try not to cut out too much of my videos as I want you to be able to see how I do specific things, for example, uh, working the shapes around the creases in the cloak um, can be quite difficult, but you just essentially have to follow it around uh, as the shape would and allow it to sort of fill in to the crease accordingly. And just continue to follow these random shapes all around the cloak and then move on to the second highlight of geometric shapes. So for the second lot of the geometric shapes, I decided to go with Storm Vermin Fur. Um, I just figured it would carry really nicely over the Skaven Blight Dinge. And again, just focusing on random shapes all across, and I do want some of these shapes to go through, occasionally go through some of the uh, Skaven Blight Dune shapes as well.
You'll find as well that the, uh, the lighter the highlights become, uh, the more times you'll have to cover over, uh, go over, sorry, the, um, the geometric shapes just to make sure that their colors aren't uh, transparent at all. But as I mentioned earlier, really, really worthwhile um, as the end result looks pretty awesome, so. One thing I should mention as well is that sometimes with details like this, it is a little bit easier to paint in sub-assembly. Uh, for me personally, I like to generally keep my miniatures fully assembled, um, except for occasionally keeping uh, the head of a miniature separate uh, and painting that separately, for example. But in this case, uh, for example, having the Space Marine uh, backpack separate would uh, perhaps make it a little bit easier to uh, get in underneath some of the cloak details. And I decided to do one final highlight of geometric shapes. So I decided to use Steel Legion Drab. This is a really awesome color. Um, and I actually only purchased this paint recently. Um, this was in fact the first time I used this color on a miniature. And it certainly worked perfectly with the Storm Vermin Fur and the Skaven Blight Dinge. So again, just applying shapes all over the cloak, just randomly but also trying to put them in place so that it covers some of the nocturne green, but also leaves some of the nocturne green shapes as well. Uh, as you can see, just on the right hand side there, uh, and also the one uh, just in the center, uh, just above the steel legion drab, I should say.
And as you can see here, just, uh, especially around the creases in the cloak, just really trying to use just the tip of my paintbrush to get the outline as straight as I possibly can. If you ever need to go back to the previous color uh, to correct it, if it ever overlaps into uh, another geometric shape that you're not happy with, uh, just go back to that color and correct it. Um, and as you can see, all of the um, coats that I've been doing with the paint, it's been quite thin. And so you really want to make sure you just get this, uh, all of these patterns uh, as smooth as you possibly can. Now some details that I left out of my Raven Guard cloak, uh, at the time I didn't actually add these, um, but I decided to add um, some, just some more extra details, so adding some uh, darker tones to the recesses of the cloak, uh, just where the creases are, so I've decided to use some, uh, it's fairly watered down German grey, so essentially just treating it as a shade, and just really taking my time and working in those uh, creases in the cloak. And now just to begin highlighting, uh, well, the first step of highlighting um, the creases around the cloak as well. I'm just going to use some Lauren Forest.
Now I was pretty happy with how the Lauren forest looked, but I really wanted to bring it all out a little bit more, so I decided to make the jump to Skarsnick Green. And as you can see, really barely anything on my brush and only using the very tip of the brush as well. I'm just going to begin bringing out all of those um, creases in the cloak that little bit more. Now unfortunately one thing I did forget to include the full detail of uh, for this painting tutorial uh, was just some of the uh, weathering at the bottom. Now I did sort of use um, a mix of some of the greens and just in a dabbing motion uh, just lightly went across the bottom of the cloak. And uh, I also used a little bit of black and um, white mixed as well just for sort of a couple of uh, light greyish sort of tones um, dabbed lightly across the bottom of the cloak. Just to add that little bit more, um, a nice little finishing touch to, uh, to the cloak. And also just some minor edge highlighting around the cloak just to add a little bit more character to it. And here are some photos of the completed Raptors camo cloak. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. If you did, leave a like and perhaps subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.